What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. So guys, I logged into the server today and I thought everything was normal until I looked around and saw we have upside down cows. Yep, our cows have been flipped, turned upside down. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, our horses are upside down too. Mm hmm. So riding around a horse that has been flipped upside down is a little awkward. Uh, it's totally normal though. This is part of the game. Don't worry about it. Uh, the horse is fine. I'm sure it's not caring that its head is, uh, in the ground as I'm riding around on it. No problem at all. Right, horse? <laughs> oh boy. All right. Well, uh, uh oh, is the horse going to... Okay, I thought the horse was going to drown underwater or something. I think we're fine. I just need to get it out of here and try and get it back into its pen. Get out of there. There we go. Awesome. So, yes, somebody has gone around and upside downed my animals, which I thought was hilarious. Uh, definitely wasn't expecting that to happen. So, since last episode, some things have happened here. I've gone ahead and I've gotten some better armor. I've got now a full set of diamond armor. Except for the chest plate, I don't think I have a really great chest plate. Um, but yeah, I went ahead and I made all of my different armor, so we are good to go on all of this stuff. Uh, like I said, I don't think we have a chest plate that I have specifically gone out of my way for. But I have been to the end, and we do have a bunch of shulker boxes. We have an ender chest here. We have a fortune pick, and now we have a silk touch pick. So, like, we're doing really good. I got 26 more shulker shells, so I can make 13 more boxes out of this stuff. Got some extra rockets going on. Uh, I do have some diamond armor from the end city, so maybe one of these is good. I mean, if we put protection four on there, that's pretty good, right? Uh, so yeah, we got some stuff. Here. Or actually, I guess we have this chest plate that we found. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So yeah, we do have a chest plate that is usable if we so need that kind of armor. Um, but yeah, things that I wanted to do today, I wanted to go head over to a Gemini Tay's area. Apparently, she has a little parkour game set up to try and get that you have to complete and then your reward at the end is some drip leaf. I'm very interested in getting some drip leaf, so let's head over there. On the other side of my nether portal here, I'm noticing that we have this at the end of my tunnel. That's my portal, XB's portal. Welcome to Moss Inc. Aha, check this out. Okay, so we got a little bit of the overworld in the nether next to our portals. This is pretty cool. Oh, am I in a, am I in a lake? Uh, what do we got here? Welcome to Moss Inc. One diamond for 64 moss. That seems like a really good deal. What is this one? Two diamonds for 64 of the flowering azaleas. Two diamonds for 64 of the regular ones. And then a diamond for 64 of the moss carpet. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. I definitely would like some of that stuff. I don't have any of that yet. I don't have any globe berries either. Don't tell XB I'm just taking one of those. Will be our little secret. I don't think he's selling the glowberries, but I definitely want those. I think you can bone meal those. Uh, yeah, I am gonna probably get some of the stuff from him so I can use for decorations. But anyway, this is a really cool looking area. So just heading through the nether tunnel, our base is down there. How to kill a magma cube. <laughs> uh, we have now welcome to Slime Block Casino, the almighty Gamba Slime. Saying nice things helps. Lighting light on gambling. Insert one diamond to gamble for slime. You may win one to twenty slime blocks. Insert one diamond. Okay, slime block diamond. One diamond for eight slime blocks, or you can gamble. It looks like some people have bought those directly. This is one of the items that I'm really looking for. I don't think you can normally get this in 117, but there's a crafting recipe on the Hermitcraft server that allows us to craft that. And yeah, that's one of the reasons why I wanted to go over to Gemini's base for the drip leaf is because that is used in the recipe. Uh, so slime blocks, if I need a bunch of those, definitely gonna grab them here. Let's keep going. All right, well, I made it over to Gem's base. I haven't seen this yet. I was just trying to figure out where to go for different things. Um, looks like we got some farms going on over here, some spruce trees, some paths going that way. I think over here is a shop where Gem is selling some azalea stuff. So there's a couple of people on the server at least selling this. Azalea leaves, uh, flowering leaves, etc. Glowberries, one diamond for a stack of them. Mm -hmm. All right, so lots of different things. 
But I was trying to figure out where the uh, parkour course is that she has, and I think... Oh my goodness, look at these cows. All of them have been turned upside down. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, yeah, I think it's supposed to be right into here. Yeah, parkour down this way. So I haven't seen how to get down here and what's all a, what all is going on with this. So let's take a look. Parkour this way. This is cool. I like all the decoration in this ravine. Oh yeah, look at this. This is really, really nice. I like it. Uh, all right, so start parkour on the drip leaf. Checkpoint in the middle. So I haven't touched a drip leaf yet. I know like you stand on them. And then after a minute, they like collapse and you fall. Let's let's just land on one real quick and see how long we have. Oh, we don't have much time at all. So it's like one second. Interesting. And then it should reset. Yeah. All right. So we're supposed to jump through here and get to the end. I think it's just over there. It's not super far. But let's see if we can make this real quick. I haven't done parkour in Minecraft in a long time. I haven't done parkour on these at all. All right. Well, that was attempt number one. So I've been at this for a little while now, and I've been having problems with this next jump. Well, not that one, but trying to get over onto that drip relief there. I have tried this so many times. I've made it onto that drip relief now, I think twice out of like 30 times. I just seem to be falling one pixel too short for that thing so many times. I believe I'm just jumping too early on the jump right before, but yeah, I've been at this for a little while now. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna keep going. Oh, I made it. I made it. Okay, here we go. This is the third attempt. Gotta get over there and then onto this ladder. Ooh, checkpoint. Ladder behind this post. Oh, so does that mean if I fall at this point, I can just climb up here and then start again? Oh, okay. Well, that's nice. That jump right there, this one, the bane of my existence, but we have conquered it. Okay, so now we need to continue on this path and I don't really know where to go. So we're gonna try this together. Whoop, whoop. Was I not supposed to go through the vine? Can you climb this vine? Oh, look at this, you can climb the vine. Is this cheating? Am I cheating right now? It's part of the course. <laughs> okay, I feel like I'm cheating. We should probably try this over again. I'm gonna go up this way onto here. So this is our checkpoint. We're on top of the ladder. So we'll come over this way and then whoop, over here, whoop. Over, over, woo, all right. Uh, are we supposed to try and get around this onto that thing? I think that might be what we're supposed to do. Whoa, 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 okay, making it, making it. Things are happening now. And, oh, on the last one. All right, we're gonna make it this time. And yes, 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 we made it. We did it. Woo, please take your reward. I will gladly take my reward. Do I get too big drink belief? I think you can bone meal these and get more, right? I hope so. I don't know how else you'd get this many of them. Anyway, uh, exit. Congrats. Thanks, Jim. <laughs> wow. Uh, I haven't done parkour in Minecraft for a long time. And this, like, certain jumps, like this jump, the very last one, I think that's the maximum possible. Like, you have to jump at the very last pixel, and then you land at, like, just one pixel. Oh. So crazy. That was a lot of fun. And I really like the way that the uh, the ravine looks with all the, the lush foliage and all this stuff. So this is really fun experience. Okay, well, I just came back to my base and there was an axolotl uh, just walking over here very slowly. And as you saw, just plop into this pool of water. Where would that guy have come from? Over here, maybe? Do they just come out of the water on their own? I actually don't know, but I have an axolotl now. Okay, let me grab you. The cutest predator. It's happened, guys. It's happened. We have one. <laughs> they are so adorable. Oh, that's great. Okay, well, I don't know what I'm going to do with the axolotl. I know XB's got a bunch of them, but this one is mine. Uh, what I wanted to see, though, is how this drip leaf works as far as bone mealing it. Because I haven't seen this. I haven't touched these plants at all. These are brand new. Uh, let's take a look. So I have a little bit of bone meal here and our drip leaf. So plant it and then do that. Now if I break it. Oh, look at that. You get two of them. Okay, so how tall do these go? 
and then each one of those turns into its own drip leaf. Wow, okay, so that's really neat, I like it. And on the same note, while we're testing out these different plant materials, let's see how the glow berries work. I think you have to plant these on the bottom side of a block. No? Is that not how it works? Oh, I guess you can't do it on leaf, but you can do it on wood. Okay, and then... So you bone meal these, you get a bunch of berries, and I think the berries are what make the vine bigger? Yeah, look at that. Okay, so that's pretty neat. And if you break this, you don't get anything back. Okay, so you need to spam bone meal, get a bunch of berries, and then you can plant these wherever you want them. I don't know if these will naturally uh, get longer, or if you have to place the berry to make them longer every time. I guess that's something we'll find out. Uh, oh, it just grew. I guess we found out. So yes, it will grow on its own, and then you can climb these. Yeah, so that's really cool. Awesome. And then how much food? At least one hunger haunch. So an item that I'm looking for now are actually these flowers right here. These are the alums. And I need those for the recipe for these flowers here, the spore blossoms. Uh, so I could run around the world and try and find those, but I know Joe and Cleo have set up a flower shop and I have not had a chance to check this out yet. Very much flowers around here. Uh, what does it say? Welcome to Joe Hill's flower stalls. Mix and match any 16, one copper, any 64, one diamond. Okay. Uh, these are what we're looking for. There's only a few of them in there. Unfortunately, I need, I need a bunch of those. So it doesn't look like there are a lot around here. Hmm. Well, I mean, I think one flower turns into one of those spore blossoms. So I can go ahead and do that. So it's one copper per flower. And I don't see an ender chest here. Well, thankfully I brought my own. All right, we have another hermit's base to visit and we are gonna head over to Grian's base. He has set up a new game called Tag based on the old games Tag. That's Bodum Cub. I assume Grian's base is through here or maybe is it beyond this portal? Hmm, I honestly don't know. Let's head through this one. Oh, speaking of Grian, there he is right now. Yeah, so I wanted to sign up for a new game that he has around here at the egg. There it is. Okay, so this is... Potato boy. <laughs> this is the egg. Let's see what's up here. Uh-huh. Oh, it looks like we have three P. Oh, no, there's a lot more that signed up. I thought it was just three. A lot of people have signed up. So basically, uh, Grian has the dragon egg and we're supposed to steal it and whoever has it for the longest gets the most points wins all the diamonds i think well i have a diamond block here so i'm gonna go ahead and enter myself all right so we haven't really done much building at all at our base area just yet looking pretty bad to be honest uh we had some farms over here just like first day stuff this is where i've grown some spruce trees and now we got some pods on the ground but what's nice about the pods all is you can use it to plant and grow mushrooms. So I have been doing that, just planting the mushrooms here, bone mealing them, and then chopping them down using my silk touch ax. So we have plenty, oh, I don't have any bone meal up here. Uh, so we have plenty of the mushroom blocks. Now, why do I want a lot of mushroom blocks? Well, I was trying to figure out what I want to do for this area. And since we are in a dark forest here, uh, or a roofed forest, I guess, with the dark oak and there's a lot of like these giant mushrooms around it kind of inspired me that maybe uh we should build ourselves some houses out of mushroom blocks right so we'll do like little mushroom houses around i think that would be kind of cool uh i haven't built out of mushrooms before and trying to get these stems is a real pain when you're growing these mushrooms like you get four you generally get maybe five on average. Sometimes you'll grow a mushroom and it'll be like super tall and you'll get probably nine mushroom stems. But yeah, you get a whole lot more of the blocks than you do from the mushroom stems. Well, anyway, uh, I wanted to build this completely out of mushrooms. So I need a lot of the mushroom stems for the walls and maybe the flooring of these things. Uh, is that enough? Let me grab, grab a few more of the red just in case. But yeah, um, I was thinking over here, we have like a little area that's kind of cut out of these trees naturally. We could put our first one here, see if we like it, and yeah, maybe we'll move it around and 
design the area around it later if we like this. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead, start placing down some of these blocks real quick. So we'll do like three here. And you know what? I think we're just going to make this relatively small. So three along the sides, I diagonal in between, right? So something like this, nothing too fancy. It'll be a little round. And there we go. Yeah, so that's the basic shape. So I'll just bring this up a couple of layers and then we'll put a... Uh, topper on there. I guess the mushroom cap, right? We'll put that on top and we'll see how this thing turns out All right guys, so this is what we ended up with is just a small little house like structure We got the mushroom cap on top with the red mushroom blocks And then I made some little mini mushrooms outside out of end rods and the mushroom blocks themselves to give us some light out here uh, and then I put some torches here because it felt like there needed to be something next to the door, but honestly I think this would probably look better using red candles, so I'll probably look at getting some of those soon. I think Tango is selling them on the server. Is it Tango? Somebody's selling red candles. I'll have to go and find those. I also have some torches on top, which we could replace with some more candles as well. Um, but yeah, inside, this is what we're looking like. Uh, using some of the glow lichen in here, just for a little bit of a texture differentiation. Is that a word? I just made up a word. Uh, so the one thing that we're really missing is a spore blossom. This is going to really set the mood that we're in a mushroom because that is going to produce some particles around, right? I feel like for a mushroom house, having spore particles flying around just makes sense. Now, they are kind of a green color. It'd be better if they were more like, you know, a whitish color or a gray color. But I think that's going to do just fine for us. Uh, there is still some more decoration that I'd like to do in there, but honestly, I'm kind of running out of time, and we're supposed to meet up with XB. We got some stuff to do with him. <laughs> well, that was rude. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. <laughs> so, XB. Uh-huh. Uh... uh <laughs> you I, have problems here? Hold on, hold on. Uh, I, I well, I'm 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 dumbfounded, right? Because <laughs> but by what? I, so so let me let me paint a story for y'all, okay? Hypno, we were talking chitty chatting over there in the discords, and he mm -hmm. goes, "Hey, I built a mob farm," and he was like, he was play, you know, he was playing it up. He's like, "This is like the greatest thing to happen to Minecraft since I don't even uh, Lytris, right?" I and mean, I was like, okay. So I'm going to come over and check it out. And I'm greeted with this. Okay, you know what? <laughs> you, you, know, you know what? This is like the best mob farm that I've ever built this season. Okay? I'm just, I'm just going to throw that out there. Well, uh, that I don't doubt. <laughs> I don't doubt that. <laughs> Although, well, you do have a spawner over there. which Oh, well, well that's, that's not really a mob farm. But, like, this thing... This is awesome! Like, you just come down here after you've been AFK, and then you just kill the monsters if they don't blow up. They yeah. blow up. It's, it's fine! It's like the best farm ever! What's wrong with it? This is, this is all kinds of jank. <laughs> like, this is it was, so janky. Okay, to be fair, it is janky, right? It is janky. It's super janky. <laughs> <laughs> but I needed a supply of gunpowder so I could feed my rocket addition, addiction. Well... well and and that I am with you. I so I went and I purchased some rockets. Okay, right? all right. But I'm you know I I'm kind of frugal. I don't like just wasting money. You know, Money's, neither do I. I don't want to waste it. So I, I feel like we need. So we're not going to use this. Can we agree on that? I, I want to tear this down. This thing is ugly. Okay. So this will get blown up. We should just build some withers inside it and just let it go ham. Yeah, just never um, speak about this thing again. Yeah, it's fine. I don't even speak about what? Exactly. So I think, and, and now hear me out. Okay. Okay. There's a zombie behind you. Ow. Hello. How are you? Okay, now you're going to turn into a drone. Um, so we live, we're like, we're neighbors. Yes. And I've got farms. You've got farms. Why don't we have farms? Oh, so you want to build, like, community farms for both of us. Nice. Ooh. I mean, we're both over in this area. Uh -huh. Why not have one place where we can both go and we both work on and build up and both use, right? Sounds good to me. I like it. So, I mean, do you have any 
I mean, I don't, I don't really want to do it in an ocean because that would be suck. Yeah, we should probably like, hmm, if we're gonna scout do this, around, yeah, yeah, we should scout around. Probably place it somewhere that's kind of close to your base, kind of close to my base, somewhere it's easy accessible. I think. All right, so yeah, somebody, and and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna point any fingers. Um, I see you pointing your finger. This quote unquote discovered some horse heads all over the ground out here. Yes. Uh, so we were um, flying around and I saw this field and I was like, cool. And I was like, what is this thing on the ground? And apparently there are a bunch of horse heads placed right. here. And so obviously I, I had no choice but to stick one on my head. <laughs> I mean, obviously. Like that's, what you, that's what you do, right? You're just cruising around. You find a head, you, you stick it on. I mean, that's, but it is, it is super right? weird though. There's like a bunch of random horse heads just kind of placed on the ground around this, this area. Right. So but, we have dubbed the horse head farms, horse head farms. Howdy, it has like a partner. legit ring to it. <laughs> it does like, sound good. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, so we're going to be building a mob farm here. You've seen these before. Uh, we're gonna have all these different platforms we do have ideas for like the whole area um things to do here obviously we're not going to divulge that currently mm -hmm. but yeah. we have plans we, you know, yeah like, no talking about that secret secret uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, and no more skyblock esque. <laughs> i said we weren't talking <laughs> about it i would i was just saying no more skyblock stuff <laughs> okay. that's all oh, i fine, said <laughs> fine fair fine <laughs> Unless you really want to build a cobble generator. No. Then well, then <laughs> maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, so, again, platforms going down. We're going to have stuff dying, collection. It's going to be awesome. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but we, as you could see, we got some digging to do. Just a wee bit. Mr. XB, we have done some stuff. We did some a lot of some stuff. Nah, just a little bit. Like, hardly anything. Uh, well, I don't think anybody's even gonna notice what we did here. Step this way. Oh, you fall down. Fall down, go boom. I fall down. <laughs> uh, so we got the thing going on here. You can hear the clickety, clickety, clickety. Clickety, uh, clickety. Is, mm -hmm, an on off switch for the clickities. Uh, and then in there, there's a thing that happens. You got some right. soul campfires and some water and all sorts of goodness. Mm -hmm. So the reason the campfires are there is the majority of stuff is going to just splat and die. But some stuff, if it got like feather falling or if it just goes too far off to one side, it's not going to die. Mm -hmm. And and we don't want that. We want no we want them dead. They right. die now. And so this way, at least they'll they'll still die. Right. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And then all the items end up into this water stream. Go out that way. All right. Let's get out of here. Sweet. Up um, we go. We have yet to test it, actually, <laughs> to make sure everything works together uh, fairly decently. But let's be and honest. Also, let's be honest. It's going to work first try. It's it's perfect. It's uh, I mean, I, I worked on it a little bit, <laughs> so it's obviously going to work. Well, and plus it's Horsehead Farms. Horsehead Farms. A <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. You ready? Can I, pre can I, can I press a button? I want to press ahead. a button. Go ahead. Do it. Really? Do it, do it. Really? Mm -hmm. I press the button. Mm -hmm. We need more of this dark glass up here. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to do like a three by three right here in the middle. Uh huh. Um, yeah. So on, obviously, us standing up here is going to affect like the spawn rate or whatever. Oh, creeper. Was two there a creeper, creeper that fell down? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. We got things. Splat. 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 Okay. Now we go to make sure we get some, hopefully we got some gunpowder from those, those guys. And it should end up up here. This is temporary storage, by the way. Don't, don't judge it too harshly. Aha. Gunpowder. Oh, look at that. It just came in. Oh. More, more gunpowder. And oh. then here at the end, we do have a trash just in case. An overflow. <laughs> you got to have that. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I mean, it works. I mean, it's not that like. Is crazy fast but that no that's that's the best that's ever been i'm gonna because make a, a whole nine rockets this is a horse head farm horse head farm <laughs> yeah so xb and i have ourselves a nice co-project going on here we're calling this place 
Horsehead Farms, as I'm sure you guys heard me say many times during <laughs> those clips. Uh, yeah, so we started off with a mob farm here. So if we look down, uh, this farm is running and it is working a little bit better than what we had before. There is a lot of caves that we got to light up though. And that's something I'll probably be working on with XP during live streams and things like that. Uh, we do plan on eventually having a lot more farms here. Like every single type of farm that we want is probably going to go in this general area. And just so you guys can see, if I fly up here... Just yeah, so you guys can see, all the way around, uh, my base is right here. You can see a little AFK spot that I have. So that's my base. This is Horsehead Farms. And XP is right over here. So we are like very close to each other. And this is pretty much right in the center between our two bases. So I think that is really awesome. But guys, we are going to call it an episode for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it. Let me know in the comments what you think about the small little mushroom house that I built. If there's anything else that I should add, change, or whatever. Just let me know. But that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.